Welcome back, it's Jerry here again with the Happy Hootie, here to save you time and money for you and your family. And today's episode, we're gonna be showing how to clear up some green algae in a pond. Now here we have a 55 gallon little pond fountain that we built into our berm. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, go up and click the link up above. It'll show you how we actually made the initial berm. But what I did notice is after we'd had this going here for a couple of weeks, it started to build up some nasty green algae on the inside of this pond. It's natural, it's what it's going to do. But rather than using chlorine and some other harsh chemicals that could possibly hurt birds and some other things, we found online someone that posted a hack that recommended using a simple household ingredient called hydrogen peroxide. Now this is a 32 ounce bottle of hydrogen peroxide that we got for about a dollar from Sam's Club. I've seen it cheaper other places and if you buy it in bulk, you could probably save it even more. But this is 32 ounces. We're gonna add that to this 55 gallons and we're gonna let it run for a couple of days and see how much of that algae it clears up. So here's the hope. It's been 24 hours. Um, I can say it still looks a little dingy in there, but it seems like there's less green and stuff on the actual tubes, which means there's probably less around the outside edge too. We'll give it another day and see if it doesn't clear up any more than this. It's been five days and quite honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, there's still a lot of debris and things like that down in the bottom, but if you get in here close and look, you can actually see the bottom. And that's super cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this fountain out of here so that it no longer is dripping in there so you can see that. There is still some scum down in the bottom, but basically almost all of the green that is in there is gone, which is great. Aside from some of my wife's little plants that we can actually now see fell to the bottom of the pond. I'm thoroughly impressed. If you have a green little pond like this, give it a try. What can it hurt? Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.